بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس السلام علیکم آئی ہوپ یو آر ڈوئنگ گڈ اینڈ آئی ہوپ یو انڈرسٹینڈ مائی لیکچرس سو دس از دا ففتھ لیکچر اینڈ ان وچ وی ول ڈسکس آر نیکسٹ پوئم کارگوز دس پوئم از رٹن بائی جان میس فیلڈ سو لیٹس گیٹ اسٹارٹیڈ اوکے If you could see on the right top of the board, it's written John Macefield and he was born in 1878. Like I have told you before as well that you are supposed to note down with you three important points with you related to all the poets which you will study. Number one, date of birth. Number two, place of birth. Number three, date of death. So I will check in your registers, inshallah. Okay, so as far as this poem is concerned, cargoes, in this poem, the poet describes three different cargoes or ships who are coming back to their home ports while carrying different cargoes, products and goods. They are coming back to their home ports. Now, what is the meaning of this word cargoes? It means... the goods carried on a ship theek hai just like you might have heard this word cargo so there are three different uh, cargoes described in this poem so that's why it is titled as cargoes single singular cargo and plural cargoes okay so poet uh, in this poem he portrays three different cargo ships returning homewards and they are carrying valuable cargoes valuable products on them so ships are returning and they are carrying valuable products with them or goods with them simply you should keep this in your mind so first he describes an ancient ship which is returning to palestine then he describes or he tells us about spanish ship and number third he tells us about british ship so three different cargoes three different ships carrying different valuable products on them all right okay now there are different difficult words in this poem so first you will note down all these difficult words and their meanings with you i will show you the photos as well so that you may understand better so first number 1 quinquereen quinquereen is an an ancient galley a low flat ship with five banks of oars oar means oars mean a pole with a flat blade and which is used to row a boat fine now let me show you the photo this this is quinquereen an ancient galley galley is a low flat ship you could you see three banks and oars sorry with five banks 1 2 3 4 5 okay so this is quinquereen all right okay now back to that page so now you know what is quinquereen an asian galley and what is galley a low flat ship okay the next word is Nineveh it is a city in Iraq then next Ophir Ophir it is a port or region which is mentioned in the bible and famous for its wealth okay king solomon received a cargo from Ophir so it is the name of you can say port or region which is mentioned in the bible and that port or region is famous for its wealth all right it's the name of place then haven haven which is a kind of shelter for ships harbor port next ivory you know what is an ivory tusks of an elephant yellowish white you see okay next apes a mammal that is related to monkeys i mean chimpanzees gorillas they come under this category apes okay next sandalwood it is a widely cultivated indian tree that yields fragrant timber theek hai its fragrance is very famous 
uh, in urdu we call it sandal okay next cedar wood it is a wood of cedar and cedar is a tall and white evergreen tree cedar is a name of tree and cedar wood is wood of that tree which is cedar okay next galleon a sailing ship in use specially by spain from 15th to the 18th centuries originally as a warship and later for trade so galleon it is a specific kind of ship sail, sailing sh ship which was specifically used by spain first as a warship used in wars and later on it was used for trade okay then next isthmus isthmus is a narrow strip of land with sea on either side forming a link between two larger areas of land it's a kind of that narrow strip of land uh, of land okay and with sea on either side now let me show you the photo then you will understand better here this is isthmus could you see this narrow a uh, kind of road strip of land and sea on either side fine and it is forming a link or it is a kind of bridge between two larger areas of land so this this narrow road or this narrow strip of land this is called isthmus i hope you are getting in girls okay now back to that page that slide rather okay next emerald it is a bright green precious stone emerald is a stone next amethysts it is also a precious stone of a uh, purple color purple or violet color theek hai amethysts let me show you this is amethyst okay purple color stone precious stone okay then back to the same slide rather next slide okay topaz theek hai topaz is singular and topaz is plural so again precious stones gem stones now let me show you the photo this topaz this is singular and when there are more in number more than one then we call them topazes okay so again a precious stone or precious stones all right next cinnamon cinnamon it is a spice and in urdu we call it darchini it is used uh, in green tea as well or it is used in uh, some other dishes so cinnamon is a spice in urdu we call it darchini okay next so the next word is gold moidores portuguese coin of former days so coins of portuguese uh, origin fine coins next salt caked smoke stack funnel whitened with salt from the spray of the sea you see salt caked cake has many layers in it it is thick thick layers creamy layers so just like that that funnel of the ship you can say it was somehow salt caked full of salt and it was thick because of the spray of the salt from the sea fine let me show you the photo so that you will understand better this could you see this smoke it is somehow this expression is used by the poet that it is salt caked salt caked means thick with the layer of salt thick with the layers of salt okay this uh, if you could see in the first photo uh, though it is not the original ship rather a kind of you can say um, an object so could you see this cake layered or thick layered smoke so it is salt caked because there is you know that there is salt in the sea then in the second photo it is the real photo of the ship and you could you see the funnel there is this smoke it is salt caked layered with uh, you can say or filled with the layers of salt so this is what salt caked smoke stack means
okay now next tyne river tyne it is the name of river and it is a river in england river tyne okay next piglet lead of course you know just like we have iron lead and pig here means unrefined raw okay unrefined lead or raw lead and last iron ware iron ware means articles which are made of iron typically domestic implements okay girls so you should note down all these difficult words and their meanings with you and let me show you the photo once again this is what i have to already told you queen cream or a galley this is salt caked smoke stack theek hai next topaz stone then next amethysts again stone this is asthmus okay girls so in my previous video i discussed difficult words and their meanings and now kindly open your books in front of you it's page number 11 cargoes this is our next poem written by john masefield so in this video i will be simply explaining or elaborating the lines okay uh, the meanings i mean they are already with you i hope you have understood so let's get started but before that you should keep one thing in your mind that um, in this poem the poet portrays three different cargo ships fine number 1 an asian ship number 2 spanish ship and number 3 british ship and they are carrying different products and goods fine and they are returning homewards okay okay ji queen kareem queen kareem of nenewa from distant ofer rowing home to heaven in sunny palestine with a cargo of ivory and apes and peacocks sandalwood cedar wood and sweet white wine now queen kareem you already know the meaning ship nenewa name of place city in iraq then from distant far away distant far away ofer again a name of region or port ofer rowing home rowing you see rowing a boat returning home to heaven heaven to take shelter in harbor port it is a kind of shelter for ships in sunny palestine so the first ship cargo ship it is coming from far away land of nenewa and ofer fine and it is coming back to palestine with a cargo of ivory and what is there on the ship what is it carrying ivory tusk of an elephant and apes and peacocks sandalwood cedar wood and sweet white wine i have already explained their meanings what is apes uh, what are apes sandalwood cedar wood fine so this is the first ship which is coming from ofer or neneva and it is coming back to palestine and what is the cargo what are the goods peacocks apes sandalwood cedar wood sweet white wine all right okay next stately spanish galleon coming from the isthmus dipping through the tropics by the palm green shores now stately majestic spanish galleon spanish ship i have already told you that it was initially used as a warship and later for trade purposes coming from the isthmus now what is isthmus it is a kind of narrow strip of land with sea on either side but this line means that the ship as far as that cargo or the ship is coming it is sailing near to the shore you see near to the shore that road side that strip of land near to it sailing through the or you can say sailing near to the shore okay and which is crowded by green palm trees dipping passing 
So stately Spanish galleon coming from the isthmus. Stately Spanish galleon. Majestic Spanish ship coming from the isthmus. Coming from the isthmus somehow you can say. Uh, sailing near to the shore. Dipping, passing through the tropics by the palm green shores. And those shores they are crowded by palm, green palm trees. Okay. Shore is crowded by green palm trees and dipping means passing tropics what is the meaning of tropics you can say a region of earth surrounding the equator so dip, dipping through the tropics by the palm green shores so passing through the lands and those lands those shores they are grounded or covered by palm green trees Okay, next. Now, first one was that Queen Karim or you can say an ancient ship from Nineveh or Ophir. Number two, this Spanish ship. And again, it is continued. Now, what is the cargo on this Spanish ship? With the cargo of diamonds, emeralds, amethysts, topazes and cinnamon and gold moidores. Fine, I have already explained the meanings. So simply, what is the cargo? Diamonds, emeralds, amethysts, topazes. So these are all precious stones. And cinnamon, spice and gold moidores. I have explained you what is uh, gold mo moidor or go well, what are gold moidores? Coin, coins, you see. So on Spanish ship, this is the cargo. Next, last, dirty British coaster. Now, British ship. Third one. First one, an ancient. Number two, Spanish. And number three, British ship. So, dirty British coaster with a salt caked smoke stack. Why dirty? Because funnel of the ship is whitened with the spray of salt water from sea. You see, salt, caked, smoke, stack. So that's why this word dirty is used because of its funnel. Okay, third ship, now British ship. Dirty British coaster with a salt, caked, smoke, stack. Butting through the channel in the mad March days. Butting to strike something with your head. Okay, usually it means, butting means to st strike something with head. So you can say that ship. It is pushing wildly, fine, through the British Channel, British course. Because it is March and due to uh, the bad weather, sea is rough, fine. So you should keep this in your mind that mad March days, mad means rough weather, fine. So it is, and somehow it's difficult for the ship. So the ship is pushing wildly through the British Channel, through the way. And why? Because it is March and due to the bad weather, sea is rough. Okay. With the cargo of Tyne coal, Tyne is the name of river, river Tyne in England. And Tyne coal means coal from the mines around the river Tyne. So around the river Tyne, there were mines of coal. So what is the cargo or what are those uh, goods carried by the ship? Tyne coal, coal from uh, around the region or you can say from the mines which are around the river Tyne. Road rail, road rail actually um, this means railroads, rails to be used on railway tracks. Okay, then pig lead, unrefined lead, firewood, ironware and cheap tin trays. Okay, so what are what is the cargo? Cargo of tyne coal, road rail, pig lead, firewood, ironware, and cheap tin trays. Trays, tin trays. Okay, so this was your poem, Cargos. And I tried my best to make you understand in a better way. So I think before 
uh, understanding you should note down all the important or difficult words and meanings with you just like i have discussed in my previous video so if you know already know the meanings then this po poem is not difficult to comprehend because only these words are somehow difficult choice of words or diction is somehow difficult but the idea is very simple simply three ships are described with a cargo on them fine so uh, if still if you do not understand anything you may ask me and thank you so much for listening to me so patiently thank you